In the previous two videos, we learned about ARP spoofing and DNS spoofing using BetaCap and EdaCap. Now in this video, we are going to learn about MITM proxy, which is an excellent tool to manipulate responses from the server and inject JavaScript code into victims devices. This particular video will be just an introduction where my device will act as both the attacker and victim and I'll show a basic scenario where how a hacker can actually manipulate a JavaScript server response and inject JavaScript code in it. So without any further ado, let's begin. So before I move further, we need to understand what a proxy is because in essence MITM proxy is nothing but a proxy. This is a normal scenario where a user or a browser sends a request to the server and the server responds back by obviously returning the response. Now a proxy sits in between the client browser and the server. So when you request for something, the request actually goes through the proxy and then it reaches the server and the, when the server responds back it has to pass through the proxy and then it will reach the client now MITM proxy is similar to this proxy but it also has an additional thing or a tool or a feature which is it has a listener that listens to the proxy so when a client requests something from the server it actually reaches the proxy and as soon as the request reaches the proxy the listener will get to know that hey i got a request and here the listener can well manipulate the request and send it to the server and when the server responds back the listener gets to know that hey the response has reached the proxy he can manipulate the response and then send it to the client this is an example of mitm proxy which is a web proxy similar to mitm proxy there are two other proxies as well which is bob suite and ovasp z attack proxy these are really great tools when it comes to website hacking. Now this is going to be a spoiler alert for you guys. I'll be covering about Bob Suite extensively in my website penetration testing or website hacking course. So in a sense, all you need to know is that Bob Suite is nothing but a web proxy that manipulates requests and responses. Okay, let's come back to the topic. Now we're going to install MITM proxy in our Kali Linux. As usual, you need to boot up your Kali Linux from live USB and let's get ready for action. First of all, go and click on Firefox and from there type MITM proxy. This will give us a link to the official MITMproxy.org. Click on that link and then click on the download Linux binaries. I have already done that. So let me close this and go to my downloads folder. And as you can see, the archived folder is right over there. Let me extract this by typing tar that is tar space hyphen xvzf that is to extract the gun zip folder and space the folder name now let me hit ls and remove that archive folder we don't need that archive folder at all so let me type rm space hyphen rf space the archive folder name now when you extract that archive folder you get three different files which is mitm dump mitm proxy and mitm web for the purpose of video, we are going to be using MITM web. So for that, type dot forward slash MITM web because MITM web is nothing but an, ex an executable file. And when you hit enter, this will first start a web listener and it will open up Firefox automatically. And this is a web listener. And then it will also start a web proxy, which is running at port 8080. As you can see right over there. So now let me go back to the proxy, I mean web listener. Now let me tell you one thing right over here. We are going to be performing our attacks on ourselves so that we can actually understand what's going on. And before we do that, we need to set up our proxy because our proxy is already set on 8080, but Firefox hasn't configured to use that proxy. So we have to manually configure that proxy. For that, click on those three lines or hamburger menu as many of you call it, and then go to preferences. Then go ahead and search for proxy click on the settings now from there click on manual proxy configuration here enter the details of MITM proxy which is 127.0.0.1 and the port was 8000 right um, 8000 let me just go and check whether it was 8000 oh it's 8080 so let me just configure it again support so is 8080 and now click on 
okay at the bottom part cool now our proxy is set now what all requests that we sent via firefox will have to pass through that proxy and our web listener will catch what all request and response went to that proxy server so let me just go to bing.com to show you how it actually works and as you can see we have visited bing.com and when we go back to the web listener there you go we captured the requests because web pro this request went through web proxy and web listener was listening to the web proxy let me clear this all again and show you once again so let me go back to bing and reload the page and let's come back and as you can see we got the requests again cool now we're going to learn about this search field where which you can filter out this list so there are a lot of rejections that you can use but for beginners we'll be using the first one which is tilde a which is gonna filter out for assets like js will filter out only the javascript requests if i type images instead of js it will only show me the images that we got as requests or response cool now in apart from tilde a there are multiple other rejections as well like we have tilde b for searching for the body tilde bq for searching for request body etc now apart from search we have two other fields one is this intercept field where we are going to intercept the responses that is coming from the server and we have also a highlight field which is highlighting instead of filtering out now we are going to learn about javascript injection and how you can do one for that let me just go ahead and click on the request that is going to bing and as soon as i click on it a section on the right hand side gave me how the request look like now if i click on the response tab you can actually see what response that bing.com gave to us and if I scroll down all the way to the bottom and as you can see that this response ends in the slash HTML tag so this means that this is nothing but an HTML document and all HTML document will also have a slash body in their response right so our main motive is to inject JavaScript code right after the slash body so whenever the response have a slash body, they're going to intercept that response and then inject the JavaScript code right after it. Well, if you did not understand what I just said, no need to worry. We're just going to do a live proof of concept as to how you can intercept responses and then perform a simple JavaScript code injection. So go ahead and click on start. And now we are going to perform a basic JavaScript code injection over Bing.com. As you can see, so for that in the intercept section type tilde bs which means that we are going to search for the response body and inside the response body if we find this slash body tag so type conical brackets slash body so whenever we find the slash body we need to intercept that request and as you can see when i reloaded bing.com it's taking a lot of time because this particular request has been intercepted now if i go to the bottom you can see there's an orange mark so when I click on that request, you can see the response, there is this slash body element. There you go. So this means that this particular res response has been intercepted. So let's go ahead and edit this. Slide all the way to the right hand side. And after the slash body tag, we're going to inject our JavaScript code. So that's the JavaScript code I have written after slash body tag. We are going to just create a simple alert. Okay. So let me just go ahead and click on the check button over the top right hand side. And that's it. Now we go back to Bing. We need to re resume this particular interception. So click on that particular get request, go to flow and then click on resume. And now if you go back to Bing, look what happens. We just got an alert box saying one. That's what exactly we written in the JavaScript code, right? Now click on OK. And as you can see, it's still getting intercepted. The reason is because we need to clear that intercept field or else it will intercept the request again and again, right? So let's go ahead and first of all, clear that intercept field. And then click on flow and then click on resume. 
so that it can resume that intercepted request cool let's go through it once again cool now let's go through it once again click on start we're gonna type tilde bs just to check for the response body and then we're gonna check for the slash body element now go to bing and reload the page remember that is an http and not https and it will only work on http and not on https and as you can see the request has been intercepted now go to the response tab click on the edit button now we get all the way to the right hand side till you find the slash body tag and after the slash body tag type in the malicious javascript code now remember that we are both attacker and the victim right over here in the next video we're going to learn how we can do this on a real victim this particular video is just an introduction as to how we can get started with a mitm proxy cool i have added the script right of the body tag now let's go ahead and click on that check button right on, on the right hand side and then let's go ahead, and go ahead and clear the intercept body because if you don't clear the intercept body then it will keep on intercepting the responses cool that's it now all we need is to resume this particular intercepted request so click on that particular request go to flow and then click on resume now if you go back to bing you can clearly see that the alert has been given cool so now you know how you can perform a basic javascript code injection using mitm proxy now let me close this mitm proxy because we need to know how we can reset back everything to default stage so let me press ctrl c go back to your browser click on the hamburger menu go to preferences search for proxy go to settings and then finally click on no proxy or else it will still use that mitm proxy right cool so now you know how you can set up mitm proxy and perform javascript injection using your own kali linux machine now in the next video we're going to learn how we can perform this on a real victim no 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 don't go anywhere the video is not over yet I need to make two most important points about MITM proxy and why did we learn it in the first place. The first thing is that with MITM proxy, you can do any JavaScript code injection into your victim's browser, which can be keylogger, screenshot taker, credential harvester, etc. The imagination is all yours. The second thing that I wanted to say is that MITM proxy will actually pave way for the entrance of a much greater and a powerful hacking tool well any guesses write down in the comments if you know what i'm talking about anyways we're going to be covering that tool in the upcoming videos as well so stay tuned i hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next lecture